Hello and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here, my name is Aptly Unnamed, and no, that is not a fill in the blank. I am Aptly Named, Aptly Unnamed. And I am back with another video that did not take three months in production. I know, shocking. Like I said in the last video, there was some audio issues that I just didn't feel like editing, and I, I was a little depressed and such, but then... Then I got a comment on, like, the first Reddit video that I made asking if there was more. And that same person made a comment on the last video saying, Yay! So I know there's at least one person excited for my content. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the subreddit of this video. r slash delusional artists, which just narrowly beat out murdered by words in a Twitter poll that I did. By the way, I have a Twitter, and I usually do a poll of what I should do for the next video. So, yeah, yeah go, go follow me there, and you can have some say in what I cover, <laughs> I guess. Anyways, let's get into the cringe. Okay, we have the Apple smartwatch for poor people. Okay, but if it was for poor people, why'd you price it $999.99? Asking for a friend. Custom pet portraits now available for 12, I believe I was told that's the pound sign for the currency. Um, so custom pet prints, pet portraits now available, 12 pound each. The perfect gift for the pet owners. PM me for details. Yeah, those, those totally look like original painted portraits and not just pictures of your pets with a cheesy Instagram filter on them. Totally not what that is. Okay, we have the head of John the Baptiste. Created by my group, we can sell it in the fair for at least $100. Um, not entirely sure what I'm looking at. Uh, I mean, I know there's, there's a vagueness of a face, but definitely not worth a hundred dollars. I'll say that much at least. We have someone, uh, advertising, um, if I recall the uh, original post for this one, advertising their VFX work, um, in Photoshop, uh, with before, we have this person with um, a little bit of acne, um, otherwise not really that terrible looking. And then we have the after, heavy on the blur, excessive makeup, and looks like a cartoon. Um, I hope they didn't get the job if this was their, what they're using to apply to anywhere. Um, I, I'm not really sure what they were going for. like. I mean, it's not even really good Photoshop. I can't do Photoshop to save my life. And I probably could still at least not make the person look like a cartoon. Eh, okay, that's 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 kind of overhyping my skills. I, I probably would be worse, but still, that, that's pretty bad. Okay. Okay. Oof. Another satisfied customer. Thank God for giving me this gift and allowing me to work on what I like. Hashtag barberstop. Hashtag style, smile with a sunglasses emoji, thumbs up emoji, heart emoji. Yeah, I, I think you broke the skin. It's gonna scab over and be really uncomfortable. I think you need a little bit more work before you do it on humans. Um, or, you know, just... Oh god, it's red. Like, like, it, like, did they not feel pain when they when you were jabbing the razor into their freaking skull? Uh, uh. Moving on, please. Next image. Okay, from Alex Jones. Uh, came up with this symbol to illustrate humankind transcending the synthetic VR being pulled over our collective consciousness. Um, your your groundbreaking symbol looks like a shitty scribble of, I guess, a V and a R. Um, Michelangelo, you are not. Why pay 15 million for a white canvas? A canvas by Robert Raymond fetched 
15 million at auction this week, creating a milestone in the history of white on white paintings. Who paid $15 million for a white canvas painted with white paint? I. Why? Who is Robert Raymond and why is his paintings of basically nothing fetching so much money? And how can I get in on that? Because that sounds like a great business model. <laughs> Kidding. Horrible business model. But I mean, Robert Raymond got $15 million and I'm not seeing another article saying that he was asked to give that back. So good on him, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I'm all for, like, putting some, like, topiary and making things look pretty with trees and plants and such, but why why this? Was, like, the Eco Club petitioning for it or something? I don't know, it just, it just, it doesn't look good. I mean, maybe when those plants grow a little bigger or something, or if there was some grass planted, but the landscaper behind this art, and I'll use that term very loosely, um, needs to go back to gardening school, if, if, that's, a, if that's a thing. Or be a trade school. I don't know. Next image. The artist of this painting is apparently suing the Smithsonian for not hanging this painting. Now, the painting itself is pretty well done, but, I mean... Try selling it to Donald Trump himself, he might buy it and actually like hang it up somewhere, but I don't really see it warranting being hung in the Smithsonian, so I really hope the artist loses that case. Ah yes, the infamous $999 Pro Stand. <laughs> yes, Apple, the company, has become the epitome of a delusional artist. I think just because they're one of the leading tech companies, they stamp their logo on something and they can charge $999. Um, Apple has become the new Supreme. That's, that's all I can say about this. Okie dokie, this, this is an interesting one. A laptop infected with six of the worst, uh, that's right, six of the world's most dangerous computer viruses is up for auction. The bid is now more than 1.2 million. The malware was installed by an artist on a Samsung notebook from 2018. So, getting a computer virus on my computer can now make me considered an artist if it's a really dangerous computer virus? I mean, different strokes for different folks, I guess, but... Why? I mean, you can't even use the laptop without risking spreading the virus to, like, other computers. So, I mean, are you gonna turn it on to confirm that these viruses are there? Or are you just gonna take it on this person's word? Uh, cause, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's definitely stretching the definition of art, I guess. I mean, oh, maybe there's... Maybe it's some kind of modern abstract something and I'm missing the point, but if you can sell a laptop from 2008 with, uh, in, in 2019 with some of the worst computer viruses on them for that kind of money, you do you. Okay, we have uh, taxidermy, $500. Found this in my uncle's basement. I don't have space for it. So first buyer gets it. No lowballs. I know what I have. Uh yeah, what you have is the family pet uh that was that died hopefully peacefully, um, but with that kind of face, maybe they're hit by a car or something, and your crazy uncle decided to taxidermy it and add wings. Like, I know there's a market for like crypto taxidermy or something. I think I saw a reality show about it or something on probably the History Channel. I don't know. But, um, $500? 
probably not the worth of your freaked out angel cat. Just saying. Okay, um, tatted up today. A smiling heart, so sorry, smiling emoji with blushing face. A skeleton holding someone's thumb. It'll look better healed. I don't think any amount of healing will make that not look like a skeleton fondling somebody's ball sack. I mean, the outer area kind of looks like a heart, though, but... I might want to change tattoo artists if I were you. I think they were pulling a fast one on you, and you now have that um, on your back for the rest of your life. Um, unless you pay outrageous amounts of money to get it removed, which if that was on me, I would sue. I know I have a, had a few other images about suing that I said I hope they lost. Uh, if this person realized the tattoo that they actually ended up getting, a skeletal hand inside a weird heart-shaped crevice fondling someone's balls, um, I would sue the tattoo artist. Uh, that that does not look like a thumb. Not at all. Maybe if it had color, it would, I don't know, maybe you could just de define where the nail was, but I'm pretty sure that it's just this skeleton fondling someone's ball sack. Anthro bust. $25 with or without background. In-depth scene. $65. No color. $75 with. <sighs> no offense but those kind of look like um, a little kid drew them. I mean, definitely like a young lung, young lung, no, young, young toddler kid, but like, I don't know, elementary school, maybe not really good enough to like try to sell that kind of stuff on the internet. But maybe if you were selling it to your classmates at school in the lunchroom, Perhaps, but I would definitely lower the prices. Saying those are the prices of like people who legitimately draw like this awesome art of people's um, anthro personas or stuff online. Like as cringeworthy as some of that furry stuff can be. I should know I came from the brony fandom. The art of it is is pretty decent, and they can make bank on those things, but. You've a long way before you should be charging that much for your art. Tom Cruise portrait. Um, want a portrait like this? Send me a PM of an image and I will draw a sketch of it for $20 with shading like this one, $35. In full color, $70. If you want the face with a message, talk to me about the price there. Um, uh, thanks for the nightmare fuel. Uh, that that does not remotely look like the other image. Um, keep keep trying. Probably like the last image. Not exactly at the point where you should be selling your craft. Uh, try honing your skill a little bit more. And, uh, work on making a actual human-looking, uh, face. Cause, uh, I'm gonna have nightmares. Okay, um, the Lion King tattoo. And, um... Another tattoo artist who you need to sue because that looks nothing like, um... Like the original Disney production. I don't know if they were going for their own style or if like the person who got the tattoo just like scribbled this on a napkin and they're copying it verbatim or the tattoo artist lied about their skills, but somebody uh, <laughs> is probably getting sued and another person is paying a lot of money to have a tattoo removed. <sighs> oh my god, I thought, I thought the Tom Cruise portrait was creepy. We have a Campbell's Soup Boy for forty dollars. Horrifying. Also, I mean, if the Campbell's label is supposed to be their shirt, and the blue part is like I don't know socks or shoes, why aren't they wearing pants? And why are they staring into my soul?
please change the image? Ah, uh, yes. A, uh, a bunch of scraps sewn together for $60. Yeah, that's totally not something someone could just make themselves. Totally something you need to buy for $60. Okay, we have George Bush getting his dick sucked by an alien while painting kids killing cops. 9 by 12 $80. Acrylic on sketch canvas. Um... It's definitely unique. Good? No? Worth $80? Definitely not. Why? The whole thing, I mean... I mean, George Bush, why him? An alien an alien sucking his dick? Why, why an alien? Why sucking his dick? Painting a picture of kids shooting cops? Why? Like, there's, there's, there's just so many unanswered questions with this piece. <laughs> and also, not worth $80. Um, hand-drawn Harley Quinn portrait for $500. Lifelike portrait of Harley used pastels to capture the battle of evil and innocence. Let's take a look. Oh my god! What is with the nightmare fuel? Oh! Gonna have a nightmare involving that creepy Tom Cruise smile, the Campbell's Soup boy, and Harley Quinn. Like, it, it's going to be terrifying. I, I, I don't think I'll be going to sleep tonight. R.I.P. Sleep. Okay, now we have a comparison between two tattoos. One is a really well done tattoo of like a snake and some uh, leaves with the thank you for the venom. And then we have a really shitty copy of that tattoo. Um, that not only, since I believe uh, when it, the tattoo like the art of a tattoo kind of belongs to the tattoo artist so not only is it an infringe of copyright they didn't even do a good job copying it like person number two over here should sue <laughs> i like how that's my go-to thing crappy crappy uh tattoo sue the artist i mean that's just all you can do okay uh ryan reynolds in deadpool you are looking at a 9x12 colored pencil on heavy drawing paper. Yeah, you know what? I'm torn. It's actually not terrible. I'm not sure if it would be worth the money you're trying for. Maybe cut it in half? I mean, I, I, maybe it's still a little amateur for $25 even. 15 maybe? I mean, it's not terrible. And on that note... That brings us to the end of Delusional Artists. Um, let me know in the comments if you would buy any of this art. Uh, especially that laptop with the with the computer viruses. Like, like, would you actually want that? Like, like how is that art? Also, follow me on Twitter if you want to uh, be able to have some kind of say in what I do next. Um, if you enjoyed this kind of content, also subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Well, I, I say I think I say that every time, even though I actually won't see you since it's through a computer screen. And now I'm just rambling.